What is up you guys? All right, so WebFlow Conf 2023 is happening right now. And in the middle of my work day, I hit refresh and all of a sudden the WebFlow that I know and love is gone. But it's okay, the updates look dope. Let's check it out. All right, so I have a cloned FinSuite pre-made project here, just so we can look at something um, because I can't show you client work. So what are we looking at here? First and foremost, we are officially in full on dark mode. We are in high contrast-ish. All the icons have been changed. Everything, actually mostly everything has been changed. Um, I think the fonts kind of look the same, but other than that, the UI has had a major overhaul. I think we knew that this was coming, but to the extent of how crazy is the UI going to look um, and how different is it going to be, we had no idea that it was this much. I didn't, I don't know about you. Anyways, let's take a look at the Chrome of this thing. First of all, the Webflow logo is completely different and that might be a video for another day because there's a lot to be said about that rebrand. <laughs> Anyways, everything's much flatter, kind of jam-packed in here. You know, you can kind of tell why is it that they went with this more line icon type of aesthetic instead of fills. The sheer amount of volume of things that you need to pack into this product, it's a lot. And if everything is just a solid icon, I think that would be very distracting or very difficult to find where things are. The add button is, the same, so as far as like layouts are concerned and where things are for the most part, I wanna say about 80%, everything is where you think it will be. They just look completely different. Here's the ad panel. The groupings, all of that stuff is the same, except now Lottie has a new friend, Spline. Spline has made it into Webflow finally. All of the non-Cinema 4D people out there rejoice because your favorite low code 3D program has joined the party. So that's awesome. The YouTube embed is still here. No one is using that, I hope. <laughs> People are using that. Uh, all of this stuff is still here. There is a file upload. I actually don't know whether or not this thing has always been here because the form is very elusive to me. I'm making a video about it but that's cool. I don't know what that icon means. It's for business, I think. It's for Webflow business. Yes. Yes. Paywall. All right, moving down. Let's look at the advanced. It's nice to see that Webflow is committed to sticking with Twitter instead of X. Say what you will about that, you know? I don't know. I don't know what to say about that, um, but Maybe X doesn't have uh, an icon yet in this pack. It's a major UI overhaul. You'd think that they would update that part. Probably not. Anyways, going down, you can see grid and columns have been demoted. I believe at one point they were up top. There's really no way for me to tell because I've refreshed on all of my Webflow instance. There's probably documentation out there. This is extremely unprepared and there's a lot of traffic outside. So, you know, that's where we're at with this content these days. The layouts is basically the same. You still have access to libraries. We won't get into the, to that too much. Stick around, I'm building a really awesome library. Everything is in there. Um, so as far as the elements are concerned, it's all here. Everything looks great. There's some tool tips to let you know about some new stuff, right? Uh, these aren't really that new. I do wonder if they resolve some of the weird issues about container, the container uh, block. Um, but we'll inspect that at some other time. Looking at the page settings, completely different, completely new. I definitely like how condensed everything is. And, um, you know, we build at my agency really massive websites with hundreds of pages and lots of folders. So I think this is a pretty good layout for it and it's compact and I'm looking forward to using this. Creating a folder, all this stuff seems to be the same. Again, they've kind of just updated their design system. So all of this is different looking, but still the same. You can still kind of, you know, hide and show all of these things. And of course, if you want to use e-commerce, 
you still have that. The users looks like it's fully operational these days. So that is good to go down there. The navigator looks familiar. Everything is the same. They're still using the same visual metaphors for our divs, the components, whether something is a grid, right? Layout, whatever. It's all kind of the same. Everything just feels condensed, but I think that's good. I don't know. I like it. I'm gonna say I like it. Looking at the components, straightforward, creating a new component, all this stuff is the same. There's this new fancy thing here. This is a new feature. It's called variables. Actually, I don't know how new it is. I feel like I've been using it for a while. But uh, with variables, you can now have <laughs> variables. So yeah, you know, you got your design tokens here. And if for some reason your client says this dark blue is not dark enough, let's change it everywhere, which happens, you can do that. So that's great. What's awesome too is that you can, uh, oh, search for variables. What does that do? That converts that color into variable. Right, so anywhere there is a color, you can kind of swap it out for a variable. Um, functions really similar to how Figma functions. Um, I don't know about XD or Sketch. If you're using Webflow, I feel like you use Figma, you know? We're just team Figma, I feel like. You can create new variables here. Uh, color, size, font family. This is gonna be actually game changing because especially with size, my goodness, like, the amount of design debt that I have acquired through the years, this would have really, you know, helped that. Another thing is it looks like the style selectors, which used to be on the top right, is now here with its friends uh, on the left panel. The assets is still in here, all the same. Um, CMS collection, it's really, yeah, the more that I look at it, I, I, I am starting to like how compact things are how kind of matter of fact it is, you know? Like it's not so heavy into UI. It's kind of almost like I'm navigating something like Notion. I don't know, that's, that's what I feel. We'll see whether or not this is actually a good solution and maybe in my next video, it's about me complaining about how difficult it is to navigate. <laughs> I don't think so though. Props to the Webflow team, they did a fantastic job here. All this stuff still very much looks the same. I do wonder if there is a light and dark theme um, because we're just in dark mode here, which, you know, I'm team dark mode, so I don't care. We got Logic. For the people that have started using Logic, good for you. For those that have not, I am coming out with a video about Logic. So, uh, you know, stick around for that. Uh, we got users. Make sure you pay Webflow more money so that you can use users. Same with e-commerce, all this stuff. All this stuff is the same. What's really cool is that the apps, which I think was on the other template or the other version, but you know, all the apps, everything is kind of here. Like all the beta stuff that you, you know, have been playing around with if you got access to them. Uh, it's feeling a lot more stable now. You know, it's more integrated into the uh, into Webflow, so that's amazing, right? I just can't get over the logo. It's so different. I love it. It's, you know, it's fine. It's just every time I look at it, I'm like, wait, what Japanese app am I in? Because it looks like kanji. <laughs> but I'm just like, wait, did I get tricked into using Framer finally? No, I don't know what Framer looks like. And then I got my good old FinSuite and Reloom for them third party puppies. We love them. Site settings looks to be over here. We got Senate, uh, search general. Oh, interesting. Add layout buttons. Oh my gosh. Was this always here? God. It's either like this new UI is just so good or the fact is I just never clicked a lot of the things in Webflow, even though I've been on Webflow since beta, literally. I do wanna see if they've added some uh, well, CSS preview is still in beta, you know, because it's CSS. Cue the Peter Griffin blinds meme. 
Keyboard shortcuts, it looks like everything's the same. These others are actually really, really, really clutch. I've been using them. I highly recommend it. Maybe someday they'll let us customize the keyboard shortcuts. That'd be sick. We got audits, our little search, which is command E, and then some tutorial stuff. So that's all the left side. The page button here is nice. I like that. Let's see the responsive stuff. It's the same, the design, and then we have editing. So that's nice. I see that they've moved comments to the right. This used to be over there. That I know for sure. The status, whether or not you're, you need to refresh and lose everything that you have. Export code is still there. That's nice. We got the play button. Oh, the play button used to be over to the left side and it was an eyeball, which, you know, I guess that's a good metaphor for that. But the play I think is nice. So that's cool. We got share, we got publish. Everything is here. Every, thank God, thought they would change things. This is how crazy it is when you just change icons and order, rearrange some things and then change your logo to Japanese or not <laughs> change your logo to this like thing, it feels like a completely different product just, just by doing that, right? This could easily be a competitor to Webflow. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this new setup. I think it's nice, right? Let's look at the interactions, see if it's any different. I don't know, I think, yeah, it's just so much more usable. I'm sure if I open up the old Webflow, I don't have an instance of it open, I don't think. Wait, I might. No, I don't. I'm sure if I look at the old one and then look at this one, the old one is going to feel very old, right? I use DaVinci to edit my videos and going back to Premiere and like Adobe's UI, it is just night and day. And I've grown to really love the look and feel of DaVinci. So going back to my old editing software, it feels like, out of date, even though, you know, I have the latest Adobe suite. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's nice. I like it, guys. I'm sure people are going to be up in arms, probably, about how different this looks. I remember when uh, Facebook, of all things, redesigned. Um, this was before I was even into UI design, and everyone was pissed off, and everyone became a UI designer that day, I'll tell you that. Um, but here, UI designers actually use this program, so it's gonna be even more crazy. I hope everyone likes it, I like it. That's the last time I'll say that. Okay, so that's the designer. I think it looks nice. Guess that wasn't the last time I'll say it. I think it looks nice. Let's quickly look at site settings. Oh, nice, so you can do quick find, undo some things in here. Site settings, all this stuff is different. Uh, the dashboard is extremely different, um, you know how your sites are laid out, site access, all this stuff is now just a sidebar instead of whatever the hell we had before. Um, I think, again, this is much more straightforward. I'm sure some UI designers ego got bruised since it's not as, you know, flashy. And I, and I love that about this, right? It's very matter of fact. That's how it should be, I think. And it still looks nice, dude. Still looks great. Yeah, you know, let me know what you guys think um, because this is big. This is a lot of change in one refresh. The whole thing just changed. And if you were sleeping under a rock and did not know that there was Webflow conference happening, you would have been like, what is going on? All right, that's all for today. Uh, I just wanted to vent and get that out there. So I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.